Part 5. Running up the Windows instance. We need four pieces of information to set up our Windows instance. The first is the AMI, the Amazon Machine Image, and we're going to use a Windows Server 2008 R2 base. We need the instance type, which dictates the hardware and the configuration, which will be a T2 Micro. We need to link our security group, which will be the Windows Master Security Group we've already created. And we need to use the private key, the .pm file, that we just downloaded in the previous module. Eight steps to creating this. First, we need to go to our EC2 dashboard, and then we can click on Launch Instance. We select the AMI. The easiest way to do this is to make sure we select and filter on the free tier only. And then in the list, we should find Microsoft Windows Server 2008 R2 base and a specific AMI unique ID C5A7BEA4. Select this and then select the instance type. We want to make sure we stay within the free tier, so we're going to select T2 Micro. Next, we need to configure the instance. We can just keep to all the defaults here, but a few things to call out. The network is our default virtual private cloud that Amazon created for us. And the shutdown behavior is set to stop rather than terminate. More about that later. Next stage, we need to add some storage. Again, we can select the defaults here, so we end up with a root device with a 30 gigabyte drive. Then, optionally, we can add some tags. So we might have a name for this machine, and you may call it Windows Master, for example. Then, we associate the security groups with this instance. We want to select an existing security group. We will select the default security group, so that anything within our virtual private cloud can connect to this instance. And we want to collect, select our Windows Master configuration that will allow us to connect from outside using RDP and HTTP and HTTPS protocols on the various ports. Next, we'll review the settings and click Launch, at which point AWS asks us to select the key pair used to encrypt the password for this machine. As we've already created our key pair, you should be able to select that key pair. Acknowledge that you have got access to that .pem file that was downloaded into our downloads folder. We'll need this file to decrypt the password that AWS provides us with in a minute. When we launch the instance, you should see a new instance entry on our dashboard, EC2 Management Console. So at this point in time then, AWS is initiating and running up this virtual machine or instance. And when that's complete, you will see the instance state transition to running. When we view the details for this instance, a few things to call out. We have a public DNS value here. This will need to connect to our instance from outside of our virtual private cloud. We have the instance type, which is a T2 micro. It has a unique instance ID. We can see the virtual private cloud that it's contained within. The EBS storage device and details, and the key pair that is associated with this and is used to encrypt the password. So that's our Windows instance run up and created. In the next part, we'll look at running up our Linux instance and creating that within our EC2 dashboard.